Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have got sick of that rear view mirror little square and I finally went and got a proper rear view mirror. This is the Gator 9 inch touchscreen uh, HD with a mirror, mirror display, mirror display. I can't say that word very well. Um, so we're gonna install this and hopefully have a much better view out the back of the canopy. Have a look and see what's in here. So I was at the um, caravan and camping show today, and this was on special. So I thought, why not? It's something I've been wanting for a long time. Let's have a look. So at the show, the guy who was demoing it, he had one on the stand, and it actually looked very high quality. I, I have heard of this brand, but I don't know if they're good, bad, or indifferent. But that's the, the unit itself. And this will obviously go over the existing rear view mirror that's in it, which I'll put back in because I've taken it out to put other reverse camera in. But yeah, looks like a pretty good unit. It's got all the connections on it. Um, I'll probably end up running the camera that comes with it, even though I've got a camera here already. I think this one might be a bit higher definition, but we shall see. Right, so I've had to get rid of the instructions and I've figured it all out and it's actually gonna be really easy. So there is a trigger wire that comes with it for the reverse, but I'm not gonna be doing that because it's gonna be on all the time. Um, and the, the monitor itself, it's just, it's a par, power lead and the USB and the, um, the AV in, which is this. So it's literally running one wire from the cab. I'm gonna run it under the tent because I think I'm gonna mount it up here so I can get a nice high view. The other one was down in here. and Yeah, it was fine, but I think this is gonna give me a better view. So I'm gonna mount it up there. I'm gonna run it under the tent, into the cab, through the floor and up into the roof for the AV and then I just need to find, I, might, I should have a piggy bank, piggy back fuse holder, which I can splice this into and just plug it into a fuse that is an ignition based circuit. So when we turn the ignition on, the camera comes on. Pretty easy, um, <laughs> hopefully. Right, running leads, putting mirrors on, connecting wires in. I'm gonna come back when it's all done and show you it. Pretty short video today. It's Dean MacGyver, this, this was a quad lock mount that I've repurposed for this. Oh, come on. The new wear, this should look an awful lot better than this, Dad. Right, go on, it just goes through there. There we go. Right, that looks a bit more professional. So let's get this back out and we'll start wiring the new one in. So luckily for me, this was the wires from the old camera that were linked to the ignition and that one's fused as well. So it was really just as easy as undoing the old camera and joining the new one up. Right, so this is genuinely the first time I'm turning this on to see if it's gonna work. It's not looking real good, is it? So it didn't work last night, um, as you saw. It's a new day, because it never goes as easy as we planned. I have worked it out though. So I ended up putting the um, cigarette adapter back on. You can buy a hard wiring kit as I found out. But what this does, which I didn't realize, is the, the, um, the monitor basically needs five volts, not 12. So this is an adapter that steps it down from 12 volts to five. So you actually need this. You can buy a hard wiring kit. That's like 60 bucks. I think you can go to JCAR and get an even cheaper one, about 22. But nonetheless, I've got all the gear here. It's about the same size, the, the adapter, so I'm just gonna make do with this. I'm gonna tap it in from the uh, existing cigarette um, 
plug that was in the dash that I've turned into USB. So I'm just going to tap into the back of that, connect this up, insulate it all, pop it up in there somewhere, and we should be right to go. So I will get this crimped up and we'll turn it on and hopefully it should work now. So, let's try it and see. Radio's on, that's a good start. And I think we're in luck. Woohoo! Right. So, uh, I'm gonna tidy these wires up and we'll take that clear plastic um, packing sticker off the mirror and we'll see how it's all gonna look. I've been looking forward to this bit, this is very gratifying, but I think let's just peel this. Oh, look at that. Nice. So with this one, I'm hoping it works when you go, yeah, so you can actually look down. So I've configured it, I haven't put the camera on properly yet, but I want to see the, the tail of the tray there so I can park properly, but also I want to scroll up. I've got a rear view mirror again. Right, another job done. Rear view mirror done. Um, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.